Good morning. I'm your friend Scotty Ray, and welcome to Scotty Ray's Weather. Boy, did the weekend fly by or what? That was in a hurry, wasn't it? Couldn't slow it down whatsoever. I hope you enjoyed yourself. We did get a little wet uh, over the weekend. We got some thunderstorm activity yesterday afternoon. Nothing too bad, though, and uh, into the nighttime, uh, some gardens got wet. Well, uh, as we begin our uh, our day, let's jump on into our forecast this morning and go over and take a look at radar. Your forecast being brought to you by EMEPA, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. As we move in today, it looks like we've got a 60% chance of rain before 4 o'clock this afternoon. Then it'll gradually become sunny before it's all said and done. But don't discount it being gusty. We're going to have about 20-mile-an-hour gusts this afternoon, so that's going to be happening. Tonight, a clear sky around 58. Tomorrow, we've got sunshine, but still gusty, 58. Uh, We've got a 20% chance of rain tomorrow night. Nothing much to that. And sunshine returning with a high of 82 on Wednesday. So not too bad in store for us. But we've got some rain today as we go over today uh, this morning here and take a look at radar. We are showing some showers here in Clark County on the eastern side of the county as we go in and take a look at this. Uh, Oh, this is going to be down around Shady Grove uh, Baptist Church here all the way up to uh, near about uh, Energy Church there. This is on the eastern side of the county that we've got right now as we back out and uh, take a look at what's going on this morning. Uh, some showers south of Carthage, Carthage there. Our big rain is uh, in uh, on the coast down around Pascagoula over to Mobile. Uh, those are our big uh, rainmakers at this point. Some light showers west of Jackson. So a quick look at what's, uh, what's going on this morning with the weather. And uh, we'll come back and look, uh, uh, take a look at your extended forecast here in just a little bit. Uh, right now, 70 is you're getting your day started before we get up to that 80-degree mark. I want to thank our sponsors uh, that make this happen every day, along with Patrick Allen Storm Ready Shelters on Highway 145 South, uh, the good folks at Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville, Rick Justice Automotive on North Frontage Road, and Hoopers on 22nd Avenue. Well, uh, as we begin our day, a lot's gone on over the weekend and as we turn to the news this morning to take a look at what's uh, happening, uh, we go in. Uh, L.A. is one of those that has many, many cases of unused kits. It's a shortage nationwide. Not sure if they're going to begin to share those yet, but there's lots of talk about that uh, over the weekend of the coronavirus kits that they have that the rest of the nation could use. Kevin Harvick wins NASCAR's Darlington Speedway. Uh, the uh, first race of the uh, the year back going since the coronavirus hit. It was good to see some sports this weekend, wasn't it? Change to get you in a better mood. Uh, as we look at Carl Crawford, a drowning happened at his house over the weekend. A, uh, a uh, baseball player there for the Los Angeles Dodgers, a 25-year-old woman and a 5-year-old boy uh, drowned in the swimming pool. Reports were that the boy was drowning. She jumped in to save him, and she also drowned. Sad news on that behalf. Hate that happened. Uh, Washington's Redskins, this has been going on. You know, we had the two NFL players last week that were arrested for robbery. Uh, this guy is arrested here. He was arrested on Saturday morning after shots were fired inside his apartment. He was charged with felony assault, second degree menacing of an illegal discharge of a firearm. Not sure what's going on, but I'm sure that'll cost him there in the NFL as well. As uh, uh, this has been back to 1988, there's been a lot of focus on cold case files, hasn't it? Arrest was made in American's death in Australia. Uh, so allegedly, he was a uh, a gay gentleman, and there was uh, a guy that's been arrested now, Scott Philip White, 49, who at the time was targeting gays and pushing them off cliffs. There were several that died that year, uh, but arrest has been made in the, to his murder now. I. Uh, more murder. And, you know, you never get away with this when you kill your spouse. It just doesn't happen. A surgeon was arrested for uh, the murdering of his wife. She was found in the woods near their home. He's going to the pokey for a long time to think about this. How can you have everything and want to kill your spouse? I don't understand these things at all. Uh, a Louisiana memorial service ended in gunfire. Thirteen people were wounded, uh, including one in critical condition. They were there to uh, celebrate the life of Dominique James and uh, turned deadly. Mm. Uh, a U-Haul driver over the weekend uh, crashes through a wall. He went up, rented it, pulled out. He mistakenly uh, hit the gas instead of the brake and drove over the wall onto an interstate. Wasn't hurt, but boy, I want to talk about But I hope he uh, paid that. What is that extra stuff, that insurance you buy when you rent? Hope he done that. 
Former Miss America is dead at 70. Phyllis George, she went on to become a NFL uh, spokesperson, uh, the NFL Today Show. She uh, passed away. She was only 70. We hate to hear that. Also, actor Fred Willard died at age 86. Of course, he had to have dated, what's her name, uh, Blanche. <laughs> she was on the show there. And of course, he was on the Bob Newhart Show. Uh, he was on uh, Everybody Loves Raymond also. I think he was a father-in-law on one of those. So, uh passing there. I remember him well, and I think he was on Anchorman, too. So uh, he passed away over the weekend. Natural causes. Uh, this is different. A priest uh, in Detroit is, uh, I guess, uh, blessing everybody with a water gun with holy water. And Now they've gone to, they're not making fun of the man, but they're having fun with it. The good, the bad, and the Holy Spirit squirting them with the gun. Pretty cute. I think it's already made its way to the Vatican of what he's doing. Uh, a professor tells a Trump-supporting stu student to drop dead. Uh, Columbia University, uh, they got into a uh, Twitter uh, back-and-forth uh, argument, and he called him a neo-Nazi enabler and then uh, told him to drop dead. You just don't do that. We'll see how uh, what the university has to say about that. Mm. Uh, and then, does Meridian have a flasher? It's been reported that uh, a guy's been exposing himself out by the Northeast Park, uh, just off Highway 39, described as a black male driving a red-colored Nissan Altima. Know anything? Contact the Meridian Police Department. They'd love to hear about that to see what uh, they can do to take care of that little issue there. Boy, mm, mm, mm. what's the world coming to? I don't. I, I really don't know what to say about that. I didn't. Uh, I didn't know that was going on. Hopefully, you hadn't been uh, run into this guy yet. Uh, so let's take a moment and talk about uh, the Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville. If you had not had a chance to drop in and, and see Joe, drop in and see him today over in Collinsville. You can't miss him. Over by the four-way stop, you take a left there when you get to Collinsville. A great place to go shopping. If you never had the experience, go in today. Of course, always a great place to go by and get uh, a steak night on the weekends, and they have lunches every day. You can get them from three ninety nine to four ninety nine. They got sweet tea. Great place to do that. And, of course, they always have a great selection in the store. If you're looking for some great uh, ground beef, they got that as well. I talked to somebody that cooked hamburgers yesterday afternoon that had been to the pig. It's a short drive, a friendly staff that will really go that extra mile to earn your business. Drop in and see Joe and his, uh, his gang there, and you'll be glad you did, no matter what you're looking for when it comes to groceries. Always a clean place, and if you need help getting your groceries to the car, they still do that for you there. Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville. Take that short drive. Uh, from Meridian out, and hang a left, and you'll be there and see Joe and his friendly staff, and they'll help you in anything you need. Crawfish on the weekends, too. I need to ask Joe how much longer that's going to last, crawfish, what the season is. But uh, check all that out. Again, that's uh, Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville. Great folks. Hope you can uh, drop in and visit with them and uh, do your business when uh, uh, keep that business local here in Meridian. Uh, as we said, we'll get back to give you a, a, a seven-day forecast uh, here in just a moment to show you what's coming up. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back over to radar this morning and take a look at this. As we look at our extended forecast uh, for the rest of the week, we start uh, out today with that rain, that 60% chance. We've got slight chances each day, but most of the time, as you'll notice in the background there, it's going to be sunny, uh, 10 20%. So it won't be long showers or much to it, but that's the extended forecast. Highs will reach right around 90 as we get toward the end of the week and into the weekend over 90. So it'll definitely feel like uh, summertime has come before you know it. Uh, again, 60% chance of rain today before 4 o'clock. Expect it to be gusty. 20-mile-an-hour gusts will have more of that tomorrow, up to 25 miles an hour. So it's going to be pushing stuff back and forth across the yard and, and windy. So keep it and plan that in mind. Uh, we want to thank our uh, sponsors, uh, EMEPA, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative, along with Graphics Guru there on B Street. If you need anything, they'll help you. My friend Joe at SMI Automotive. And, of course, San Marcos Authentic Mexican Restaurant. You can find them right near College Park uh, headed toward the airport. They'll treat you nice there. Again, thank you for spending part of your morning with Scotty Ray's weather. Like and share. Share with a friend. Uh, as we did yesterday, when storms break out, we'll go live to keep you informed of what's going on. Uh, one last thing that we need to look at, let's go back over and look at the, the cases uh, that is going on with the coronavirus in the state of Mississippi. Uh, new cases and deaths uh, for yesterday. We have 173 new cases in the state, 11 new deaths, and uh, we've got Kemper County and Lauderdale having one of these also in this. Uh, Marion County and Neshoba had two deaths, and Knoxby County had one. 
Scott County, not uh, far from us, as we look at the overall state, 11,296 uh, cases with 521 deaths. Uh, as we look at uh, Lauderdale County, as it uh, zooms in here in just a moment, we're at 46 deaths with 585 cases. Neshoba County, is it uh, 405 cases? A lot of cases there with 23 deaths. Uh, still Lauderdale County leading that. Uh, we've got Neshoba with uh, two deaths there in Newton County and 187 cases. Let's go back up and look at Kemper County, if where they are in all of this. They've had uh, 100 cases and eight deaths. So this is still serious matter when it comes to uh, the coronavirus. A lot of deaths has happened in the state of Mississippi, and uh, we certainly hope this will uh, end soon. We're still in one of those, the seven counties that has this. Make sure to wear your mask when you go out and wash those hands as often as you can to, to be prepared. Again, thank you for spending part of your day with Scotty Ray's Morning Weather. And as always, we'll be back to keep you up to date with the very latest when it comes to weather.